Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, can we really have free will so long as hell exists? I had this issue raised with me while discussing how God gives us free will with which to make choices. I was told that it's not real freedom unless it comes free of charge, and that because of the existence of hell, we face grave consequences for certain choices, and therefore don't really have free will. Firstly, free doesn't mean that there's no price attached. Nothing is more expensive than freedom, as the founders of America learned the hard way. Free choice merely means a choice made of one's own will. If I make a choice between picking up a gold nugget or jumping off a cliff, this is a free choice, regardless of its consequences or price tag. In philosophy, the claim that free will must be free of consequences would fall under the fallacy of equivocation. In equivocation, one attempts to draw a conclusion through deductive reasoning, but confuses two separate definitions of a word in doing so. For example, premise one, Socrates was Greek. Premise two, Greek is a language. Conclusion. Therefore, Socrates was a language. The false conclusion comes from equivocation with regard to the meaning of the word Greek. Now, this case is very similar, except that the word being confused is not Greek, but free. When I say that our will is free, this does not mean that you don't need to pay any money to obtain it. Indeed, our will is free in that sense, in that each of us is born with it, just given it from the start. It also doesn't mean that there will be no payments required of you after you possess it. What the word free means when applied to human will is merely able to choose uninhibited. Other free things in this context are, for example, a bunny rabbit released from its cage. It's been freed. No one would deny that. Yet, if it uses that freedom to run outside and get run over by a bus, that doesn't mean that it was any less free. It suffered because it had freedom and used it. Freedom is not license, as we discussed back in episode 62 of Clean Cut. Anthony Flew has said that the threat of hell encouraged him to become an atheist, which is a decision that he made freely by exercising his will. In the same sense, we too can make free choices that affect our standing with God. The fact that our decisions have consequences, if anything, makes us even more free, since it gives us the freedom to face the consequences of our actions. It certainly does nothing to challenge our free will. Next, would anyone choose hell over God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.